Welcome to A La Mode by Adrian. anyone who's here. I don't expect anyone because I didn't give anybody any warning. But I was just sitting here thinking that I am not wearing enough of my collection. So I thought what I would do is put together a tray of what I want to wear for the week so that I make sure I start rotating some of the beautiful pieces that I've collected over the last few years and um, the last many years, actually, if I really think about it. So say hello if you're here, um, but this is not an auction. I think what I will do is start to wear my pieces and then auction them off after I've had a chance to wear them. That's the goal. And I feel like what I typically do, which I don't know if, if you guys do as well, what I typically do is get myself dressed and then I decide what pieces that are around me match my outfit. And now for the new year, I'm going to start to do the reverse because I have so many beautiful pieces that I am going to plan my outfits around the jewelry. And I think if I do that, I will start to wear more and more of my things. So I'm going to do kind of a tray of the day, tray of the week type of special and share with you what I plan to wear this week. Um, and it's holiday week, so I chose a bunch of things with sparkle and a little more glitz and glamor than every day. So hi, Rosina, hi, Verna, hi, Cynthia. How are you all? Are you getting ready for holiday? I should have brought more water. Um, Let's get into it. Yeah, I thought it was a great idea. I mean, I, I just have so much at this point. And what happens is I've got all of these trays and it's super organized by like brooches, necklaces, natural stone, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then it's packed away in my jewelry area, but it's not in my dressing room. So I'm going to move my tray the week over, tray the day over to the dressing room. And, um, and hopefully I'll start to implement more of my things. Um, let me know what you guys do. How do you decide what jewelry to wear? Um, okay, let's do this. Let's start with this piece. This, I believe this is Napier. I'm pretty sure it is. I, where's my loop? I'll look, but I'm pretty sure this is my Napier. Yep, Napier, Brutalist necklace. I have brought this to auction before. I'm going to try and wear it this week. I think it's ultra cool. And I tend to go more for Monet than Napier, but I, I do love this piece. It's very brutalist. It looks like coral to me. And I think it's really beautiful. So I'm going to try and wear, wear that this week. Um, this is a stunning set. It is a Peror from um, Trafari, and it is from the Renaissance collection. This is a highly coveted collection of Trafaris. It's that cranberry glass choker. You've probably seen me wear this before. It goes with this brooch, which also hooks onto the necklace. And it is just really, really stunning and very, um, just very beautiful and colorful and worth quite a bit. I would say all three pieces are probably worth about $1,000. And these are the earrings that go along with it. 
Look how gorgeous. That's poured glass. And that's the Trafari Renaissance collection. And look how beautiful that is. That would go with my outfit today. Look how pretty. So there's that. And I think there's some pieces I pulled for Christmas. Um, like that's a cranberry color. This is more of like a Christmas red. This is beautiful glass beads. Look how holiday that looks. Is that beautiful? That's all glass. Aurora Borealis beads as well on gold. Barrel clasp. Spectacular. That screams Merry Christmas to me. Probably wear this on Christmas Eve because it's a little more glitzy and maybe this set on Christmas day. So there's that. Um, then I've showed this recently. These are chiclets and this is deco sterling silver. I got this fairly recently. Let me put this on the neck, but what I've decided, and maybe I should wear this in the next few nights because it's very Hanukkah. Um, this lock is so challenging though. Let me see. Have you guys picked out your holiday outfits? Here we go. I'm not doing a show tonight. It's been really quiet and I think people are, um, shopping for others and, I encourage that. I was shopping for Mark the other day and the person in the store was trying to sell me stuff. And I said, no, nope, don't even bother. I am shopping for others right now, not myself. So this is Deco, the beautiful glass chiclets. And these are cobalt. Fantastic art deco beads. And I think that's spectacular together. That's very Hanukkah. Hanukkah colors blue and, and yellow, but that's beautiful. So I'm going to try and wear that. I picked a couple of brooches, my Stanley Hagler, which is so valuable. And I don't wear it as often as I should. And that is beautiful. He worked for Miriam Haskell, and this is one of my Miriam Haskell brooches. So I'm going to try and wear that this week. And I also pulled, keep in mind, I live in Miami, so wearing white at this time of year. I mean, you could wear whatever you want, I think, at any time of year, but it wouldn't be unusual to wear. Like, I wore white pants last night out to... um to dinner with Mark. Um, this is one of my Haskells as well. So I might wear that. I put on these earrings. They're hanging. I need to put them on better. But I feel like this is such a fun New Year's Eve earring. Look how beautiful that is. This is an unmarked beauty. So that to me screams like fireworks, New Year's, all that stuff. This beautiful celestial bracelet, gold tone. And I love that. Very Wonder Woman. Super pretty. Um, again, you know, I think this is very seasonal Miami because it's a light pink. So probably wouldn't wear this now if I was in Chicago. Very worried about Alyssa's flight, by the way. Oh, she's coming in from Chicago on Friday. Yikers. Um, so there's that. And that is my Les Bernard. Beautiful. And then we've got this very pretty vintage rhinestone 
bracelet, which I'll probably wear maybe New Year's with those earrings. It's gorgeous. Look at the baguettes. I don't know if this one was marked now that I think about it. Yeah, this is another unmarked beauty. Hi, Delia. How are you? Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, yeah, this is an unmarked beauty. It's stunning, though. Really, really beautiful. Unmarked. Gorgeous. Perfect condition, too. It's really beautiful. So there's that. This I wear a lot. This will never be for sale. I bought this for myself in Chicago. It's Samira 1-3. And I bought it at my favorite boutique where I lived in Chicago. And it is like a total staple in my wardrobe. I absolutely love it. Those are natural pearls and these beautiful chains hanging from it and i love that piece probably see me wear that this is an unmarked beauty too love this set there's a ring and also this bracelet which looks like lapis it's not i don't know why this isn't marked it's such a gorgeous set someone should have taken credit for that Really stunning. Many of these pieces were bought at estate sales. Um, some of them were bought in New York. I do tend to thrift quite a bit in New York. Um, I have to test this again. This was bought in Manhattan. Um, and it is genuine pearl garnets. If I recall... I tested it for 14K and not for eight or 10, but that is just a very beautiful, looks super Art Nouveau. And that's the clasp. It is gorgeous. Look at those garnets. I love that piece. So that's another, I think, really wonderful, you know, because of the garnets, the pretty red garnets, beautiful holiday piece trying to think in advance of what I'll be wearing. Um, this is Chanel. It's not from their jewelry line. It's actually a gift that the VIPs get from Chanel Beauty, but it is marked. And that is a special VIP gift. And I have one. My mom has one as well. Um, we've got, thank you, Emily. Um, we have this I've never shown. I have to do a little more research on this. This is so gorgeous. It's brass. And this almost looks like Victorian revival. Beautiful cameo. Look at the back of that. Absolutely gorgeous. And look at the scale on that. It's like the size of my hand. Beautiful piece. And I've worn this a bunch because I wear black a lot since I'm a New Yorker. Um, this I just got. The lock was reworked. It's uranium glass. And you can see someone put on a modern lock but that's not what's supposed to be on it. I wore this last night. I wore this last night with the chiclet necklace and it looked so pretty. So look at this together. I was trying to give off Anna Wintour vibes with this chiclet necklace and this glass, this uranium glass here. I thought that was pretty together and I wore it just messy and intertwined. And this was one of my greatest finds from an estate sale. And it is vintage Tiffany. Look at all of those gorgeous strands of blackened sterling. 
And that is also a, an extremely pricey piece to the research on that. I like it short, but it's really meant to be worn long. Okay, we've got some trolls here. Let me get rid of those. Whoops, block user. Okay, and then two more pieces. This is spectacular. Look at this. Okay. Also bought in New York. A lot of my best finds are from New York. Is that not stunning? Look how gorgeous that is. And now that I'm looking at it, it would be so pretty with this. Mark's the loudest coffer and sneezer I've ever met in my life. Did you just hear him from like a whole house away? Look at that. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at that combo. And I'll bring some of these pieces back in the new year. I just want to really practice enjoying the jewelry and, you know, and not just keeping them hidden away and bringing them up for sales. You know, I want to make sure I'm enjoying them personally too. And then finally, oh God, these are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. These are vintage St. John. And I'm sure that's circa 1980s. Look at those beautiful baguettes. All right. So let me know what you think of these pieces. If you want me to bring them to auction in the new year, um, once I'm done enjoying them, Verna, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to do more of these videos. I feel like, you know, things have been a little quiet in the sales area lately, although a lot of you write to me after my auctions and ask for items, which is fantastic. But I don't want to hard sell anyone. I know things are tight, you know, for holiday when everybody's buying for everybody else. And I don't want to pressure people with sales. So I'll, I'll try and do more of these um, because I do like spending time with all of you. And for me, many of you know, I have another business, so it's not really about the, um, the sales for me. But, um, but it is about the hobby and how much I love the jewelry and spending time with you guys and all of that. Um, so thanks, Valentina. Are you a first time visitor? Please, um, please do subscribe. If you're not already, I would appreciate it. It helps me grow the channel and it helps other people find um, the channel. So I'd appreciate it. And I wish all of you guys a wonderful, happy holiday. Happy Hanukkah to those who celebrate. Merry Christmas and happy new year. I will be back in 2023. I don't know if I'm doing an auction um, this week. I think Alyssa is going to want to do one with me. And if we do one together, I will definitely let you guys know. And, um, and please feel free to let me know what you think of today's collection. You've been watching for a long time. That's so great. I'm glad you said hello. That's awesome. All right, I love you guys so much, and I will let you know if Alyssa and I are going to do an auction in this next week. Bye.